The holiday season can be filled with lots of joy and get-togethers among friends and family, but that can often mean indulging in tons of food and drinks, which might not be the healthiest thing for you. This morning on Ask a Specialist, we'll talk about something called Holiday Heart with Dr. Margot Vassar, cardiologist at the Queens Medical Center. Good morning, Dr. Vassar. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing excellent because we're talking about the holidays. And first off, though, what is Holiday Heart? Well, you know, believe it or not, around the holidays, we see an increase in heart related hospitalizations. Um, we know there's a condition very spe specifically connected with increased alcohol intake. And so our patients who have a history of atrial fibrillation or risk for atrial fibrillation, increased alcohol actually brings that on. And in general, the stress and all the uh, overabundances can bring about heart disease. So we see that peak over the holidays. Now, what are some of the strategies for staying heart healthy while socializing? It's, it's a challenge for sure. Um, first of all, you know, if you're on a specific or strict diet and you know you're going to go to a function with a lot of perhaps more tempting things, go ahead and have a small, healthy, focused meal before you go. So when you arrive, you're not overly famished and overindulged in things. Um, secondly, be sure to stay well hydrated. Um, if you're going to have alcoholic beverages, be sure to have a drink of water, one or two drinks of water in between each one so you stay adequately hydrated. Um, keep in mind, too, with the socializing, sometimes it's okay to say no. You don't have to go to every single party that you're presented with. And finally, you know, we're still in COVID times. So consider a virtual option. I know we're really excited to get together with each other, but if it's just gonna to be too risky and too stressful, there's still, there's still um, the, the possibility of going virtual. Those are some great tips, especially staying hydrated. I try and drink a bottle of water in between each drink, so then that way you kind of control yourself as well as eating a small meal before going because when you're starving, it's very dangerous going to a party and then you start overindulging. <laughs> Right, right. Now, for those with serious health problems, what other advice do you have during the holidays? You know, first and foremost, keep up all your regular appointments. Um, you know, some people feel like this whole holiday season, let's wait to see the doctor until afterwards. Offices are open and, you know, closer to the actual holidays, there might be some limited hours. But if you have a routine appointment, please keep it. If you feel something going wrong, please go ahead and call your doctor. Um, Secondly, be sure you're up to date on all your prescriptions. If you need refills, call or early for those because the offices might be having some more limited hours. Just plan a little further ahead to make sure you're covered with all your prescriptions over the holidays. Um, for heart patients and honestly all patients, stay active. You know, if you have a regular movement or exercise program you adhere to, keep that up through the holidays. And if you don't yet, this is a great time to start. No reason to wait till the first um, to start that. And finally, if you really do feel poorly, please come to the emergency room. Please call your doctor. Do not feel like you're going to ruin everyone's holiday by not saying something. If you feel poorly, speak up and, and seek, seek treatment right away. And that's important about just kind of keeping that routine and not waiting until January 1st to start an exercise program, correct? For sure, for sure. Even something as little as a walk 10, 15 minutes a day can really just help reduce your stress level, help calm things, and, and really help you get through, get through some of the crazier days. Now to learn more about the Queen's Heart Institute, give them a call at 808-691-8900, or you can visit www.queens.org, click on services, and then click on heart care. Thank you very much, Dr. Vassar, and you have a great happy holidays. Thank you, you too, happy holidays.